Hey everybody, today we have the little engine that could game. Oh, what? No, we don't have that little engine that could game. But it reminds me of the book, The Little Engine that Could. Who said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. I know I can, I know I can, I know I can. And did it. Only ages 5 to 12. Oh, well, I guess all my viewers are too old to play this game. It's the Happy Little Train Game. Copyright 1957 by Milton Bradley Company. Man, I'm too old to even play this game. Oh, well. But since I don't obey the rules all the time. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Since I don't be obeying rules. Because rules are for pussies. What the only rules you really need to obey are the rules of God. The king of all kings, lord of all lords, god of all gods, Jesus. The Ten Commandments, those are the real rules. Okay, so we have this board, and we have, it looks like, we start here at the train station. Got water stop. Jumbo push up service. One turn. Push back mountain. Uh, turtle curve. Ones and twos only. Lakely split run. Twos and fours. Double. I guess that would be the pretzel bin. One and twos only. Cook it down. Hippo hoppity bumps, twos and fives. Only. Stop! Here's the finish line. The happy little train game. Strawberry soda falls. Stop! Toll bridge, price one turn. Number 4959X. Copyright 1957 by Milton Bradley Corporation. Happy little train game. Here's the rules. The rules and the spinner. Simply Smiller. Kind of reminds me of the little engine that could. You know the book, the little engine that could, where the little engine kept going because he could. He's like, I think I can, I think I can, I know I can, I know I can. I'm going to do it because I'm the little engine that could. Because... What is it? Can't, never, could? You know. It says, there are two ways to play the game with simpler rules for younger children. How much simpler do you have to have to be right there? Oh my gosh. Object of the game is to be the first player to go from the happy train station to the finish at the turntable. And then go back. No, I'm just being to play for the younger kids. Each child uses a plan piece as a different coiler for the train. Duh. That's a, all trains begin on the space march start at the happy train station. Duh. Players take turns, high spin plays first. Okay. Three goes first. Moves are made by spins on the dial, counting each space between the railroad tiles. So each railroad, so in between the railroad tiles is a space. When a train stops on a red or green spot by exact count, that player loses a turn. Okay, two or more trains may stop on the same space. A player must move his train once around the turntable before moving into the track toward finish. So once you get over here, you got to go around it once. Trains must reach finish by exact spin, counting the sign as one space. To win the game, the player's train reaches fire, finish first wins the game. Now for older kids. Okay, so like. Five and six year olds play the first game and like seven, 
to 12 year olds play the rest of the game? Come on, seriously. The brown track from start to pushback mountain. Each player spins twice in his turn. He moves his train ahead the higher numbers <coughs> back the lower numbers. For example, two and five are spun. The player will move his train ahead five and back two. So it's addition subtraction, which would be three. If the same number is spun twice, the train is not moved. When a train stops on the red dot by the elephant, what a stop! The player loses a turn. That'd be here. When a train stops on a red dot by jumbo push up servers, the player moves his train up to the top of the mountain, next red dot, and loses a turn. After passing the dot by pushback mountain, players spin only once in a turn. So it takes a little while to get. Up there. Okay. Two. Red track at Turtle Curve. A player may move his train only when he spins a one or two on the dial. Green track. Lickety split run. Player moves 